Hello, hello. If you are new here, my name's Becca, and in today's video, I am giving some clean and love to some places in my home that needed it, starting with our coffee tables. After I get my music playlist on and in my ears, I just start cleaning up. So everything that needs to find homes elsewhere is taken away. Old drinks are finished <laughs> and the table is cleared so that way I can come in and spray it and wipe it down. This coffee table we actually got off Facebook Marketplace by somebody who makes it from fallen lumber on their farm property. So it's one of a kind, kind of cool. I love it. My husband loves it. It is a little small, <laughs> but it works in our space. After that, I'm going to start working on the couch and I've shown you this little rubber tool before that kind of just grabs all the dog hair and the fuzz that needs to go from the actual couch fabric. It does a great job. I mean, look. Yeah, and that wasn't even completely finishing that entire cushion. I have no idea why she does that, but it's kind of cute. It is a little bit time consuming because our couch is large. We bought this couch whenever we moved into this home and I've never really had to take care of a couch before. We've also never had new furniture like this. We usually get all of our stuff off Facebook Marketplace. I take a lot of pride in keeping this as uh, fresh as possible. Obviously we let our dogs on the furniture, so some wear and tear is gonna happen, but I do my best to keep it clean by doing this scraper and by vacuuming it and by flipping the cushions and for breezing. Kind of treat it like it's my little baby. Moving on to the console, uh, I don't know, storage area thing under the television. I just kind of make sure again that places that need new homes elsewhere go to those spots and wipe everything down. And then I'm cleaning the mantle for the first time. It was gross. I think that I didn't know because I like have to kind of be on my tiptoes to see over it. But yeah, it needed a good wipe down. So I did that and then headed into the kitchen. I need to feed my sourdough starter. It told me it wanted chocolate and I was like, you can't have that, but I'll give you some water and flour. And that was the compromise that we settled on. So I went ahead and fed him or her. Uh, honestly, I don't know what sex my sourdough starter is. Um, I'll get back to you on that, but fed it, gave it a good stir. And then got started on the freaking dishwasher. And if you hear the annoyance in my voice, it's because dishes never end. And I did not realize in my last video, whenever I cleaned the filter on this thing, I had to take out the filter by literally using a power drill to unscrew 13 screws. I don't know why Samsung made this stupid dishwasher this way. I'm very upset about it, if you can't tell. And whatever I did has screwed it up and the top rack is not getting clean. I made sure that everything is like put back in place, clicked in. I don't know, we were already getting like sandy, those sandy food bits from whenever you need to clean the filter. So I guess that it was, I was gonna have to clean it eventually anyway, but I think that I made it worse. So I don't know what's gonna happen, we'll see. However, I do put 100% of the blame on Samsung. And maybe myself if I am incompetent, I don't know. If anybody's experienced this and has this dishwasher, please let me know what you did. and gonna get the counters cleaned 
up a little bit. And all of these tasks seem so minuscule whenever I go back and watch this, but damn, I was tired. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Bye.